In this presentation, we will process payroll, payroll that includes a 401k employee contribution so we can compare and contrast it to the plain payroll that had no contributions within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We've got the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down and selecting the open windows list. We're going to go ahead and run payroll now for the second payroll, this time with the uh, new 401k plan. So we're going to be down here in the employee section. We're going to pay employees. Once again, we're jumping forward to another month. We're going to say this is going to be the second month of our payroll. If you're in the manual version, you'll have the process payroll screen will look a little bit different here in the paid version. We're going to say pay employees and then we'll get back to a screen that will look similar under the two versions. We're going to say that the pay date, uh, the period end will be February. So the end of February, which will be uh, 228 for 2018 is what we are working in here. And we're going to say that we paid it the first day of the next uh, month. So 030118 and OK. So first day of the next month, we paid it. And then we have the handwritten checks. There it is. We're going to check off Anthony Moore and select Anthony Moore and see what we have here. Now you'll note we get this, this pop-up and that's basically saying that some caps have been hidden. So let's read this and see what they're telling us. Uh, you, you may notice that the amount of one or more taxes on this paycheck is either smaller than usual or zero. This is because Anthony Moore has reached the annual wage limit for these taxes. So remember that Futa Suta has that low wage limit. So if you're used to entering data at the end of a year, for example, if you go into payroll and you start doing payroll at year end, you'll kind of hit a shock at the beginning of the year to look different all of a sudden because of these of these caps that will happen. So just be aware of those caps. And so we're going to say, OK, thanks for letting us know that it's entering the same amount in terms of hourly and overtime wage. We'll keep that the same so that we can make the comparison. And so that gives us our gross pay. That's the same as before. The only change here now is the 401k has now changed. Well, that's not the only change, but that's the big change. We added the 401k. It's putting them there automatically. It's also showing over here as the other payroll item. Then we have the federal withholdings also changed. And that's because uh, we have to take in to the 401k the federal withholdings, which is basically our federal taxes that need to be adjusted by the the 401k so we don't need to go into the why you know the calculations and look at the table but that should happen because the what's happening is the gross pay is going down for the tax calculation related to the federal income tax so this has decreased uh, that's good that's the other change the social security and medicare should be the same because it's not going to be reduced the 401k doesn't reduce those items and then the withholdings for the california and disability and then we have our portion, the employer taxes for a California tax, Social Security and Medicare matching these two, the federal unemployment. So these are the employer tax that we're paying over and above the gross pay. These are the taxes being paid by the employee and taken out of their paycheck to get to the net pay. So we're going to go ahead and save those changes. And there is our information and we're going to uh, looks everything looks good, looks OK. So we're going to say continue and create the paycheck so then we can take a look at the pay stub once again preview we'd have to give the pay stub every time now we have the current check data and the year to date data which consists of two checks now and within this information of course now we have the 401k plan it's it's pulled out kind of as a separate area because these are the benefits that we have as opposed to the mandatory taxes so let's close this back out Close this back out, close this back out, close this back out. And then we'll go to the banking up top, use register and OK. So the only items we have so far are this check and this check and this just processing payroll. So these are the two difference. If we double check on this, we'll get back to that information and uh, that'll be our paycheck here. So if we go in there back to the paycheck detail there's our payroll check for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info